Why Most Narcissists Never Truly Break Up With Their Former Supply Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I want to discuss an important topic, why a narcissist never truly breaks up with someone. This situation often leads to what is known as a reverse discard. In this scenario, you find yourself having to be the one to break up with the narcissist. But why does this happen? The primary reason lies in the behavior of the narcissist, who tends to engage in a practice called breadcrumbing. This means they offer you small amounts of attention and affection, but they are not genuinely committed to the relationship. You may find yourself confused and frustrated because this person once professed their unconditional love for you. They created a grand vision of a future together, discussing plans for children, homes, and a life filled with happiness. They built up a fantasy that resonated deeply with your desires. What many people do not realize is that a narcissist often studies you closely at the beginning of the relationship. They learn about your dreams and aspirations, identifying what you truly want. Using this knowledge, they construct an idealized version of a relationship that makes you feel as though they are the answer to your longings. This manipulation creates a powerful attachment, making you believe that this person can fill the void within yourself. It is common for individuals who have been involved with a narcissist to experience intense emotional pain after the relationship ends. Even though you know the narcissist was toxic, lied to you, and may have even cheated on you, letting go can be incredibly difficult. This struggle often stems from the fact that you may have relied on the narcissist to provide a sense of happiness and fulfillment that you felt was missing in your life. When you finally decide to break up with the narcissist, it can leave you feeling lost and disoriented. Many people experience a profound sense of loneliness after ending such a relationship. This loneliness can be another reason why individuals stay with a narcissist for longer than they should. The fear of starting over and the anxiety of re-entering the dating world can feel overwhelming. You may find yourself questioning how to meet new people and engage in conversations about interests and preferences, such as, what's your sign, or what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Often, many people would rather stay in a familiar but unhealthy dynamic than venture out into the unknown and start anew. However, what they fail to recognize is that the time spent trying to maintain this toxic relationship is actually robbing them of the chance to meet someone who could truly make them happy. When you are entangled with a narcissist, your days are often filled with endless conversations, arguments, and emotional turmoil. This significant investment of your time and energy could be redirected towards self-improvement and socializing with a variety of people. By focusing on the narcissist, you miss opportunities to connect with individuals who might align better with your values and desires. In essence, narcissists can drain your time and energy, leaving you feeling unfulfilled and stuck. It is crucial to understand that breaking free from a toxic relationship may initially feel uncomfortable. However, enduring this discomfort is essential for achieving a more rewarding outcome in the long run. Life should not be about simply floating along, it requires active participation and sometimes hard choices. If you find yourself resistant to change because it seems daunting or inconvenient, you may end up regretting it later. For those who cling to the idea of making things work with a narcissist, believing that time invested should yield results, disappointment is often on the horizon. You may continue to be manipulated and treated poorly, all while growing older. The unfortunate reality is that a narcissist may eventually abandon you for someone else, leaving you to start over at an age where dating can become increasingly challenging. As you age, your options may diminish, making it harder to find compatible partners. For example, when you are in your 20s, the world feels full of possibilities. You can date a wide range of people and explore various relationships. However, as you grow older, especially if you have been divorced and have children, the dating landscape changes significantly. You may find yourself encountering individuals who are not willing to accept your children, or you might have to navigate the complexities of blending families with others who also have children. This added layer of complication can make the search for a partner feel overwhelming. It is also important to remember that you cannot change a narcissist. Their behavior and mindset are deeply ingrained, and they are unlikely to alter their fundamental nature. A person who is a narcissist today will still exhibit those traits in the future, regardless of their age. 
I once had someone ask me if a narcissistic partner would change as they grew older, thinking that maturity might bring about a desire for stability. The truth is, narcissists remain dissatisfied and perpetually seek external validation, regardless of their age. Even if a narcissist appears to be in a committed relationship, their restlessness will likely persist. They may grow bored and seek excitement elsewhere, whether emotionally or physically. Their nature compels them to explore new connections, often without any regard for the feelings of those they are with. If they believe they can get away with certain behaviors, they will likely do so, as they lack a moral compass. A narcissist will prioritize their own happiness and fulfillment, often at the expense of others. It's vital to understand that a narcissist will find faults not only in their partners, but in nearly every aspect of life. They will never fully appreciate what they have, because they are constantly searching for something that will fill the emptiness within them. This relentless pursuit of satisfaction means they will always be critical and dissatisfied, making it nearly impossible for anyone to meet their expectations. In the early stages of a relationship, it is common for someone to feel infatuated with their partner. This initial excitement often stems from the novelty of the relationship, your partner may seem like a shiny new toy. However, as time passes, you may begin to notice traits and behaviors that you do not appreciate. This shift can happen to anyone, but it is particularly pronounced in relationships involving a narcissist. A narcissist often creates an idealized vision of their partner, believing that this person will fill the voids in their life and bring them happiness. They project their desires and fantasies onto this individual, expecting them to be perfect and to meet all of their emotional needs. However, when the reality sets in, and they realize that their partner is just a regular human being with flaws and needs of their own, the narcissist becomes disillusioned. They may feel disgusted or disappointed, leading them to search for someone else who they believe will fulfill their unrealistic expectations. This cycle continues, as the narcissist never finds the perfect partner, because such a person does not exist, every individual has imperfections. One key indicator that you are experiencing a reverse discard from a narcissist is their indifference towards you. When a narcissist reaches a point where they can take or leave your presence, it is a clear sign that they have emotionally checked out of the relationship. They may no longer feel compelled to call or see you, and their lack of enthusiasm is palpable. At this stage, it is crucial to pay attention to the nonverbal cues they exhibit. While life can be busy and challenging for anyone, those who truly care will still make an effort to connect and show affection. In contrast, a narcissist's indifference is a stark warning sign. When a narcissist stops putting in the effort, it is often because they have found someone else who captures their interest. At this point, they may feel comfortable neglecting you, knowing that you are still emotionally invested in them. They may become complacent, believing that they have you in their pocket, and thus, they no longer feel the need to prioritize your happiness. As you navigate the reverse discard, you might notice that the narcissist starts to devalue you. This devaluation can manifest through backhanded comments or sarcasm, signaling that they have lost interest and are now seeing you as less valuable. The moment a narcissist feels secure in your affection, they often begin to criticize you. They may point out flaws or behaviors they dislike, which can be incredibly frustrating and hurtful. This behavior stems from a deeper issue within the narcissist. They often harbor a deep-seated disdain for others, including their partners. As you live your life and pursue your own happiness, a narcissist may feel threatened by your independence. They desire to be the center of attention and want you to be completely dependent on them, seeking constant validation and approval. If you attempt to be kind and accommodating, hoping to improve the relationship, you may find that it only leads to further exploitation. A narcissist often loses respect for their partner when they perceive that the partner is tolerating abusive or disrespectful behavior. They might view you as a doormat for putting up with their mistreatment. When a narcissist recognizes that they can treat someone poorly without any consequences, they begin to see that person as weak and desperate. This shift in perception can lead to a downward spiral in the relationship, where the narcissist feels increasingly entitled to disregard your feelings and needs. As a result, they may become even more demanding and critical, believing that you will not leave them. This situation often culminates in what is known as a reverse discard. 
In this scenario, rather than the narcissist officially breaking up with you, you may find yourself in a position where you feel compelled to confront them about their lack of affection or interest. You might ask questions like, why aren't you affectionate anymore? Or why did you block me? Unfortunately, a narcissist is skilled at gaslighting. This means they will manipulate the conversation to make you doubt your own feelings and perceptions. They might respond with excuses, claiming, I was busy, or you don't understand that I have other things going on in my life, it's not all about you. Sometimes, they may even take a self-deprecating approach, saying things like, I just don't have an open heart right now, or it's not you, it's me. These statements can feel like an emotional blow, as they are often insincere and meant to deflect responsibility. In reality, the narcissist is stringing you along, maintaining a facade of a relationship while they have emotionally checked out. You may feel as though you are still in a relationship, but the truth is that the narcissist is not being upfront or transparent with you. They thrive on ambiguity and often keep their partners in a state of confusion. A narcissist will rarely provide closure or explain their distancing behavior, as they want to maintain control over the dynamic. Their goal is to keep you available for when they need you, treating you as a secondary option while they pursue other interests. This behavior sharply contrasts with healthier relationships. In a typical breakup, both parties can engage in open and honest conversations about why the relationship did not work. You might recognize differences in life goals, geographic locations, or personal values that led to the separation. However, with a narcissist, this level of transparency is non-existent. They will not provide a clear explanation for their actions or feelings, often choosing instead to blame you or project their insecurities onto you. For instance, a narcissist may accuse you of infidelity, even if you have been completely faithful. This tactic serves as a way to deflect attention from their own shortcomings and to justify their poor treatment of you. They may use these accusations as a means to manipulate the situation further, creating confusion and self-doubt in you. A narcissist is rarely ever truly gone. In fact, studies suggest that narcissists often return to relationships when they believe it is advantageous for them. They may recognize that you are a valuable asset in their life, someone who provides emotional support or validation, and they will come back when it suits their needs. This cyclical pattern can leave you feeling trapped, as you may find it challenging to fully move on from the relationship, especially when the narcissist reappears, often with promises of change or renewed affection. Let's consider a scenario where you are a successful individual with a nice home and much to offer in a relationship. These attributes can make you an attractive target for a narcissist. They may return to you for various reasons, including the emotional or physical intimacy you provided. It's essential to understand that, statistically, a narcissist is likely to come back into your life at some point. This return can happen days, weeks, or even years after your initial breakup. In some cases, I have seen narcissists reappear after a decade has passed. Narcissists are bold and often lack the hesitation that most people would feel after a significant conflict. Even if you had a severe argument that led to a breakup, they may still reach out. Why does this happen? It is because they have nothing to lose and are in desperate need of supply. When a narcissist is struggling to get their emotional needs met, they will often recycle their past partners. They do this because they know that there was once a connection and that you cared for them at some point. When a narcissist comes back, they will typically try to play on your emotions. They might say things like, I've been thinking about you, or you never really gave our relationship a fair chance. This tactic is designed to shift the blame back onto you. They will frame themselves as the victim, claiming, I wanted something meaningful with you, but you discarded me. This manipulation is a classic narcissistic strategy. They aim to confuse you and make you doubt your previous decisions. It is crucial to remember that when a narcissist reaches out, the best response is to not engage with them at all. This means no responses, no conversations, and certainly no rekindling of any kind. If they contact you, block and delete them immediately. If they reach out through fake profiles or ask friends about you, instruct your friends to block and delete them as well. This is vital, because maintaining any form of communication, even indirect, allows the narcissist to keep tabs on your life. 
You do not want them to have any information about what is happening with you, as this gives them leverage to manipulate you further. Narcissists rarely initiate a genuine breakup. Instead, they often engage in what can be termed a fake breakup. This means they might block you suddenly, instigate a trivial argument, or use a minor issue as an excuse to end things. For instance, they may say something like, I can't stand the way you left the fork in the sink, and then block you. However, this complaint is merely a pretext, the real issue is that they were looking for a reason to create distance because they may have someone else waiting in the wings. Even when a narcissist blocks you, it is often not a complete breakup. Nine times out of ten, they will still harbor intentions of coming back, especially if they view you as valuable supply. If you possess qualities they desire, like financial stability or emotional support, they are likely to resurface when they feel the need. This cycle can occur repeatedly over time. They might block you for a while, only to unblock you later, often after a few months, to check if you will reach out to them. This behavior is a classic example of their game-playing mentality. Narcissists enjoy manipulating others' emotions and reactions, and they want to see if you are still thinking about them or missing them. When they unblock you, it is crucial to resist the urge to engage with them. Instead, you should block them again without saying a word. This response sends a clear message that you refuse to be a part of their games. By blocking them, you assert your independence and make it known that they have lost all access to you. This is a powerful form of self-protection and a way to reclaim your time and mental space. The narcissist's karma is that they will no longer have a place in your life, and you will not waste any more time thinking about them. It's essential to recognize that narcissists often do not fully break up with their partners. They like to keep their options open, whether those options are good, bad, or ugly. Unlike a person seeking a meaningful, committed relationship, a narcissist views relationships as transactional. Their intent is not to find a loving partner for life, instead, they aim to use people to fulfill their needs until they can no longer extract value from them. Once they have drained one source of supply, they will quickly move on to another. For a narcissist, supply can come in various forms. They may seek out individuals for emotional support, physical intimacy, or even material gains. If they find someone who can fulfill a specific need, be it for sex, financial support, or admiration, they will pursue that person without any real emotional attachment. Narcissists are often very materialistic and superficial. They prioritize instant gratification, seeking out money, praise, and other worldly pleasures over genuine love or connection. It's also important to recognize a subcategory of narcissists, known as religious narcissists. These individuals can be particularly cunning and dangerous. They often prey on vulnerable people within religious institutions such as churches, synagogues, and mosques. Many individuals turn to these places seeking solace, support, and a connection with a higher power. Unfortunately, narcissists can exploit this vulnerability. They may present themselves as caring and compassionate, but their true intentions are self-serving. In these religious settings, narcissists look for individuals they can manipulate, often targeting those who are emotionally fragile or seeking guidance. They may use their charm and charisma to gain trust only to later exploit their victims for personal gain, whether that be emotional support or financial resources. This predatory behavior highlights the dangers of narcissism, particularly in environments where people are seeking help or community. Narcissists are skilled at manipulating their image, often pretending to be deeply religious or morally upright. They may mirror the behavior of those in religious settings to present themselves as more virtuous than they truly are. This facade is particularly deceptive, as it can lead others to believe they are genuinely caring and righteous individuals. However, it is essential to recognize that anyone can claim to be religious or of good character, but true virtue is demonstrated through consistent actions and a genuine lifestyle. Just because someone speaks about God or morality does not mean they embody those principles. For example, a preacher might deliver inspiring sermons about faith and love, yet their personal life may be riddled with hypocrisy. They may engage in behaviors that are contrary to the values they espouse, such as infidelity or deceit. This disconnection between their words and actions is a hallmark of hypocrisy. 
Therefore, it is crucial to evaluate a person's character based on how they live their life rather than solely on what they say. To discern genuine individuals from false prophets, observe their behavior over time. Do they practice what they preach? Are their actions aligned with their words? A person who truly embodies love and integrity will lead a clean life, characterized by honesty, moral clarity, and a commitment to doing what is right. In contrast, those who engage in deceit or manipulation are often driven by selfish motives and cannot be trusted. This brings us to the critical understanding that you have the power to remove narcissists from your life. These individuals will not only drain your energy, but can also leave you feeling lost and depleted. They are often using you for their own gain, whether that be emotional support, attention, or validation. A comment made by someone illustrates this point well. They were confused about why a narcissistic partner was with them, as it was clear that the partner was not seeking financial support. The truth is that the narcissist was likely drawn to the attention and validation they received from this person, using them as a placeholder to fulfill their emotional needs. If you find yourself in a situation where you have been used in this way, it is vital to take time to heal and reflect on the relationship. Recognize that your partner may not be the authentic person you believed them to be. The initial charm and affection displayed in the first few months of a relationship can be misleading. Often, this is merely a tactic to draw you in, and it does not reveal their true character. It is essential to educate yourself about narcissism and the traits of such individuals to protect yourself in the future. As you navigate the complexities of these relationships, remember that it is up to you to establish boundaries and stand firm in your decisions. If a narcissist decides to break up with you, they may project their issues onto you, claiming that you are the problem. They might say things like, you're toxic, or, you need to look at yourself in the mirror. However, these statements are merely a reflection of their own insecurities and flaws. It is crucial to recognize that the real issue lies with them, not you. You need to remain focused and aware when dealing with narcissists. When they engage in their manipulative tactics, it is essential to take a step back and recognize their true intentions. Often, their goal is to cut you down and make you feel inferior. They thrive on creating chaos and shifting blame onto others because they are unable to take responsibility for their own actions. This behavior stems from their toxic nature, and it is crucial to remind yourself that their words are designed to undermine you. Engaging in a back-and-forth argument with a narcissist is not a winning strategy. You will not find resolution or understanding by trying to reason with them. Instead, the most effective way to win is to distance yourself from their presence entirely. Avoiding confrontation and disengaging from their drama is your best defense. Remember the saying, never argue with a fool. While it may not be accurate to label narcissists as fools, they often treat you as if you are one. They want to manipulate your perceptions and emotions, and falling into their trap only gives them power over you. It is frustrating to hear others suggest that narcissists are so delusional that they genuinely believe their lies. The reality is that narcissists are fully aware of what constitutes a lie, they are not naive. They intentionally mislead others to maintain control over their narrative and to manipulate those around them. They may present a facade of ignorance or innocence, but behind that mask, they are often laughing at your expense. This deceptive behavior is a calculated tactic to keep you off balance and confused. It is vital to understand that narcissists are not unintelligent, they are skilled manipulators. They employ a variety of tactics to con you into accepting their distorted view of reality. They may engage in what is known as word salad, where they use confusing language to deflect blame and create chaos, making it difficult for you to address the real issues at hand. You must recognize that you will never win with a toxic narcissist. They operate from a place of self-interest and are incapable of fairness or impartiality. Their behavior is akin to that of a bully. They will use manipulation, isolation, and belittlement to exert control over you. It is essential to stand firm in your identity and not allow these individuals to undermine your self-worth. The moment you notice any signs of manipulation or criticism, it is a clear indication that you are dealing with a toxic person. This realization should prompt you to take a step back and reassess your relationship with them. Remember, you have the power to protect yourself. 
When you recognize that someone is trying to bring you down, assert yourself by saying, not today. I refuse to be broken by your negativity. Once you identify that a person is trying to cut you down, it is crucial to remove yourself from that situation. There is no resolution with a toxic individual because they will never admit when they are wrong or acknowledge your perspective. This lack of accountability is a hallmark of narcissistic behavior. Narcissists have a tendency to string people along for years, pretending to care while their actions tell a different story. Genuine care is demonstrated through consistent actions over time. In contrast, narcissists often engage in empty promises and superficial declarations of love. They may say, I love you, but the true test of their affection lies in their actions. Ask yourself, do they prove their love through sacrifices and support? If the answer is no, then their words are merely empty statements designed to keep you around. It is important to understand that trust in a relationship is not freely given, it must be earned over time. Just like in any aspect of life, whether it's earning a promotion at work or winning an Olympic medal, trust requires proof of commitment and integrity. In relationships, a partner must demonstrate that they genuinely care for you and are fully invested in the relationship. This commitment is shown through consistent support during both the good and challenging times. When someone truly cares for you, they will be present and engaged, not just when it is convenient for them. If you notice that a person is becoming distant or only reaches out when it suits them, this is a significant red flag. Such behavior indicates that you may be dealing with a narcissist, who often manipulates emotions and keeps people around for their own benefit. If you find yourself in a relationship with a narcissist, it is essential to recognize that they do not have the capacity to truly care for you. They thrive on their own needs and desires, and when they start to pull away or only contact you sporadically, it is a clear sign that they are not invested in the relationship. You must ask yourself, why would you want to keep someone in your life who is playing mind games and does not respect you? You deserve better than that. Many individuals struggle to detach themselves from narcissistic partners, often holding on in hopes that things will improve. However, it is crucial to remember that keeping a narcissist in your life typically leads to emotional turmoil. If you choose to maintain a relationship with someone who is not genuinely committed, it is vital to set clear boundaries and not allow your feelings to become deeply involved. This can be challenging, but it is necessary for your emotional well-being. Surrounding yourself with serious-minded individuals is essential for personal growth and happiness. Serious-minded people are those who are honest, trustworthy, and willing to work towards meaningful goals in life. In contrast, narcissists often engage in circular patterns of behavior that lead nowhere. They lack a deeper understanding of life and are primarily focused on superficial qualities and ego gratification. Their self-worth is tied to external validation, whether that comes from their appearance, material possessions, or status. Do you really want to engage with someone whose primary concern is how others perceive them? The constant need for admiration and validation can be exhausting and draining. You deserve relationships that enrich your life, not ones that revolve around the ego of another person. The dynamics of a relationship with a narcissist are often dictated by their terms. They may never fully break up with you, instead, they will keep you on the sidelines while pursuing other interests. This behavior can manifest as them blocking you when they are involved with someone else, only to unblock you later when they need your attention or support again. This cycle can leave you feeling confused and used, as they manipulate your emotions to maintain their own sense of control. It is essential to stop allowing individuals who do not respect you, those zeros, back into your life. These people treat you far less than you deserve, and it is crucial to recognize that you are worthy of love and respect. Allowing them to bounce in and out of your life only perpetuates a cycle of pain and disappointment. You must understand that true love is available elsewhere. There are many people out there seeking genuine connections. However, it is important to be discerning and to sift through potential partners carefully. For instance, I once worked with a client who was navigating the world of online dating. He faced numerous challenges, including encountering scammers and individuals who were not honest about their intentions. Many people on dating apps may be in committed relationships or may not be looking for serious connections at all. 
This reality means that you have to be vigilant and proactive. You need to weed through the options, as the majority of profiles may belong to narcissists or individuals with questionable motives. While it is entirely possible to find a meaningful relationship on a dating app, one must be prepared for the reality that a significant percentage of users, estimates suggest 80 to 90 percent, may not have genuine intentions. Many of them are simply looking for casual encounters or are already involved with someone else. Therefore, it is crucial to set boundaries and not waste your time waiting for someone who is unreliable. Narcissists are notorious for their breadcrumbing behavior, they will keep you hanging on without making any real commitment. Even if you do experience a breakup with a narcissist, it is highly likely that they will attempt to return to your life. If a narcissist does not come back, it is often a rare situation. This could be because they recognize that they cannot manipulate you anymore. They may understand that you have seen through their facade and are no longer an easy target for their games. In some cases, a narcissist may have too much pride to reach out again, not wanting to give you the satisfaction of knowing they want to come back. This is a rare instance, as many narcissists will try to return if they believe they can still gain something from you or manipulate you in some way. If you find yourself in a situation where a narcissist does not come back, consider it a blessing. It means you have successfully set boundaries and asserted your self-worth. You should be proud of that realization, as it signifies growth and self-awareness. In conclusion, it is vital to protect yourself from those who do not value you. Recognize your worth and understand that you deserve relationships built on respect and genuine care. Take the time to find individuals who are serious about building a meaningful connection rather than getting entangled with those who only seek to use you for their own purposes. If you find this information helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing this message with others. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.